What's up, guys? It's your boy, Reese Boy. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Love ya. Bye-bye. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Reese Boy. Back with another video today. Happy holidays. Um, so, I was going out today, but plans changed. And I went for a walk today, so I'm just, like, chilling right now. Just got back, sitting in front of my house. Um... But I wanted to come on and say happy holidays and what do you guys want to see from me soon? Tell me what you guys are looking for. What do you guys want from me? Um, what should I start putting out? What good content should I put out um, in the new year? Because I'm like a new person and I'm not as lazy as I used to be anymore. So... Tell me what you guys want to see from me this year. Oh, look at the look at the snowman. He looks like he's from Home Depot, and then Mary and Joseph, like ours, he looks like he's from Home Depot. But um, I'm walking, guys. So yeah, what do you guys want to see from me this year? Tell me what you guys want to see. What do you guys want to see me do? Who do you guys want to see me collab with? I'm still trying to collab with some YouTubers, whoever is interested in that lives in Orlando that wants to collab. Like I'm looking for people, but I haven't got like any good luck with anybody yet. Okay, don't wave. Ain't my problem. <laughs> I get frustrated when you wave at people and they don't wave back. You're like, well, whatever, ain't my problem. Even though you look stupid waving at them. But, so I just walked all of that. The grass looks so dry, my neighbor's grass. But this is my neighborhood. This is what I used to walk every day. So I just walked the whole corner. So now I'm walking back. Um, so yeah, tell me what you guys want to see. I'm like walking so much more now. Like I don't sit all day long I don't watch TV all day long like stuff is starting to get boring to me like I'm so ready for a job like if I worked at Disney okay guys okay here are the five places that I want to work tell me what you guys think I want to work at Disney I want to work at Universal I want to work at Epcot that's still a part of Disney I want to do acting or singing or even do like guest stars on shows or guest appearances I mean not guest stars or I want to do something like, just something that you guys like have never seen from Reese Boy. And like, tell me if you guys would watch it if I did it, okay? Because that would be like so dope and so cool just to like get out of the house and move and not be stuck at home all day anymore. And just like, okay, so we're passing my house. So now we're going straight ahead. Oh, there's our Mary and Joseph. Ours is better, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so yeah, like, tell me what you guys would want to see because I can put out, like, really good content that people would think is, like, amazing and awesome and, like, whatever. Um, but it's up to you guys. It's like, what do you guys want to see from us? Or for me, I mean, exactly. For me, what would you guys want to see? <clears throat> so I don't know what store I want to work at or what I want to do. It just depends on what I'm good at. And I'm really good at helping people and I'm really good at doing stuff that, you know, is meaningful. You know, I don't wanna just do a job that's like really, really boring and I'm getting nothing out of it because that's annoying to me, if you know what I'm saying. So I really wanna to move to New York and really focus on modeling as a plus size model right now and then as I lose weight then get better and better and better but I don't know I still have that uh, appointment with Conca Blanca modeling school um for all they're out of Winter Park Florida oh look there's Santa see Santa okay so I made it to this corner it's every cul-de-sac I don't feel like walking the cul-de-sac right now and I'm gonna switch hands because the other hand is getting tired. And now we're gonna walk. So that is pretty much it. 
my Christmas Eve is gonna be kind of boring because people who I really don't like are coming. And I know someone, someone wanted me to talk about that conversation, like what happened between me and my brother. We were good. We were good for like, since 2010, right? And then just stuff started happening. And then because it got so bad, I didn't even go to his wedding. And so then that ruined me and my, rela my relationship with his wife, who was like my sister already. Like I called her sister way before they even got married because they dated since they both graduated high school or even kind of when they were still in high school. Um, and then it just got worse and worse and worse. And it just, it's sad because it's like, he used to do social media too. And he used to be this rapper that rapped about food and whatever. And it would be really cool to like do a video and kind of bring him back, you know, but it is what it is. You know, I don't miss the situation. I don't because I was tired of the fighting and I was tired of the arguing. So I don't miss the situation. We're both grown adults who he has kids. I don't have a kid, but still it's like, it's sad because it's like, we're going to hate each other. What until, you know, they're teenagers and they start understanding stuff. And then what are they going to do? Are they going to hate me too? Like it's sad, but it's life and it happens. Um, I'm actually not really that cool with any of my brothers, honestly. I'm more cool with, like, my sisters. Um, so, my one sister doesn't even, like, you know. But, yeah, I'm more cool with my sisters and my sister-in-law. And um, my sister-in-laws, well, two of them that talk to me, you know. The other one doesn't want the other one doesn't want anything to do with me actually and it's sad but it's whatever don't care so anyways those people are coming for christmas eve so i'm gonna be really boring it's gonna be really boring because i've tried to make it better and i've tried to fix it and in some type of situations you can't fix it you just gotta let god deal with it you know, and if God wants it to work, God will make it work. If God thinks that it's done, then it's done. And I really don't care anymore because it's like, it's not, it's not my job to fix something that is not going to be beneficial to me, if you know what I mean. Like, I tried when I came out of my surgery. They want to think that I only did that because I was under anesthesia and I was not under anesthesia. I've been telling my other sister for six months that I wanted to fix it. And before that too, if you ask anybody who knows me, knows me. Because I'm a person that I don't hold grudges. I don't hold grudges at all. But for the message that I got, the nasty text message that my mom got actually, because my mom texted them without me knowing. Um, and she read it to me the next day after surgery. So I was dealing with a lot already because of being in a lot of pain and dealing with the like, just being really emotional already because of what just happened, a major surgery, something major in my life. And you would think people would be proud of me, but the text message that I got was that it's all my fault. I always do this. He said he was, he told me that he, you, I was gonna do that if I was under anesthesia. I'm fake, I'm this, I'm that, blah, 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 blah. Blame, 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 blame on me. And I'm like, you can't take any responsibility for the crap that you've done, like none. And that's when I was like, you know what? I'm done. There's four things, four things that you can do to me. Call me out my name, call me gay, get me arrested, put your hands on me and lie on me. So actually five things. Done. They're, they're literally, honestly, and I'm telling you this for, from the bottom of my heart, there will never be a relationship there. I don't care what the situation is. I'm sorry, I cut you off. I literally cut you off when I've tried everything in my power to fix the situation. If I can't fix it, I'm done. Like I just, and I get so frustrated when I see a lot of these people in Hollywood fight and fight and fight and fight for relationships. Who cares? Let it go. Move on with your life. Like the whole Justin and I, I hate always talking about them, but I really don't. But the whole Justin and Selena thing, for how many years did they fight and fight and fight into my to my how i feel in my heart i feel bad for H Haley bieber or whatever her name is before that 
that's not done, honey. You think it's done. You think because you got the ring and you got the name that it's done. Please, people in Hollywood divorce left and right. They can be married for only 17 hours and be divorced or 24 hours. They've been married a year, what, two years now? Almost, I don't know. It's not done. It's not done. Uh -uh. Nope, and then the media always wants to put them against each other and I hate that too. It's like, leave it alone, you know? He was a sucky boyfriend. She was too insecure at the time to be following him through all that stuff that he did to her. She needed a strong, healthy, loving man that she kept choosing the crap. She kept going backwards to somebody who didn't deserve her and didn't respect her and didn't honor her. And the young people that are watching my channel, you need to honor women and you need to support women and you need to not disrespect them like that and he disrespected her for so many years the first time that he cheated on her she should have been done she should have closed that door and said bye bye see you later felicia she should have but she didn't because she believed him and he lied to her and i can relate because i've been in a situation like that where the person kept cheating left and right left and right left and right left and right and i told you guys that story from the first time that the person cheated i didn't believe it because i believed that this person loved me and the person did not love me at all i love the person and that's another thing that i was why is my finger why does my finger look green in the video that's weird um that is another thing that i realized you can't change a person. If somebody is dying, not like, not like physically dying, but mentally in their brain dying, and they're in so much pain, you guys can't, you, you can't fix a person. They have to want to change. And number one, they have to want to change. And number two, they have to be right with God. And if they're not right with God, there's no fixing them. There's none. And I had to realize that the hard way. And there are people that I still want to fix to this day. But you can't. You have to... Like with my brother, okay? I literally have to swallow my pride and just be who I am and just be done with the situation. It's not that I hate him and it's not that I don't love him. I will probably love him to the day I die because he's my baby brother and we were close younger. Um, and we're the two that were only adopted in this family, so we still have like that bond. Um, but you don't... When I, and the other thing I'm trying to say, don't make yourself look stupid either. Don't sit there waiting for a handout or waiting for someone to come around and making them think that like they have the control of the situation. No, I made my olive branch. You stepped on it, you burned it, and you threw it away and sh put it through the shredder. You will never get one again from me as long as I live. I promise you. No. And when they are ready to make an olive branch and when they're ready to get, when they mature, it's dead and gone. I'm sorry. I'll show them more respect than they showed me. I will say it to their face. I won't put it through a text message. I will say, mm, I'm sorry, that, was di that died in 2019. Even if it takes them 30 or 40 years, that died in 2019. I will remember that day as long as I live. December 5th, 2019. We'll never forget the day because it's the day that my life changed. So I'm good. I'm good. So, but anyways, guys, I love you so much. Have an awesome weekend. I will see you guys tomorrow. I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys Monday. I'll see you guys Tuesday and I'll see you guys Christmas day and every other day after that. So get ready for some awesome blogs starting 2020 and get ready for some sick stuff coming guys. I have like really cool things planned and, um, for everybody who wants to jump in back in the blog, she's coming. We actually shot one a little bit yesterday, but we'll shoot a better one soon, guys. But I love you guys for all the love and support. Thank you guys for 2K60 something. I don't know what it is. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for that, guys. But I love you so much. Make sure to turn on my notifications and turn on my bell so you know every time I post. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace. Love you.